Live racing returns to Fort Erie Racetrack May 31st. We have Antonetta Kulik with us to discuss the 125th season at the track. That's quite a milestone, Antonetta. It really is 125 years. There's not a lot of businesses around that uh, can say they've been around that long. So we're really excited about, uh, you know, celebrating that this year, especially with fans, right? It's exciting finally to have people back. So it'll be a good year, I think, to, to kick off our 125th season. I know the previous two years, though, without fans, record numbers of dollars were being bet on the horses. What do you expect to happen as far as that amount this year? So we're, um, our industry is really fortunate because we rely a lot on the uh, off-track betting, so the, the simulcast wagering. So where even though we weren't allowed to have fans in the track, we were still allowed to have, you know, racing happening during COVID and people were still wagering online. So fortunately, um, that worked out well for us, especially our first season when tracks across North America were largely shut down. We were one of, we were the first one in Ontario to get back in racing. So it worked out well for us from that aspect. Um, I'm hoping, well, we're hoping that, you know, obviously now that we're kind of in the minds a little bit of, of those betting partners a little more, hopefully that people will continue to wager on Ford Dairy Racetrack from a simulcast perspective. And of course, having fans back in the stands, that'll help from a on-track wagering perspective as well. Some special events this year. I know the Wiener Dogs are back. The Basset Hounds are back. Those are always fun. You have some concerts as well. Yeah, we do. So we um, we have about seven concerts this summer, which we're really excited about. Opening day uh, kicks off with a, a concert by Jonesy, a local Niagara band. They're pretty popular. Uh, so we're excited to have them. We also have bands like the Epic Eagles playing uh, Strictly Hip from Buffalo. They're coming over. So we're really excited to get some some bigger bands in and, uh, and you know, uh, get people over to the track for more than just racing. Racing, of course, that's always our, our primary goal, but to have them here for more is, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to, to bring people back. And then, yes, as you mentioned, we have some really great events coming back this year. Of course, the Wiener Dog race is on uh, July 17th. We have Basset Hound races on August 14th. And our, our signature event, the Prince of Wales Stakes, that's Tuesday, September 13th. So uh, it'll be good to have people back for those. We're really excited to get, uh, you know, some, some fans back for, you know, those exciting days for more than just our racing. I know you're breaking in a new racetrack announcer, Frank Salive, retired after last year. He did, yeah. Uh, Frank Salim has been in the industry for, for many, many years, and he retired from Fort Erie Racetrack last season. So we're bringing in a new announcer. His name is Doug McPherson. He's new to announcing. He's only, you know, he's never really been a, 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 a permanent announcer at any track. Uh, he's done some guest, guest calling here and there, but he is not new to the industry. He has been around. Uh, his dad's a trainer, so he's worked in his dad's barn for many years. He's, um, you know, an experienced handicapper. He writes, you know, some different handicap journals for, for Woodbine and that sort of stuff. He's well established in the industry. A lot of people know him, a really good guy. He's uh, a young, um, you know, new talent. So we're excited to bring in someone new, someone who can, you know, really kind of grow his skills with us and also, you know, kind of attract some of that newer audience. So we're excited to have Doug join us this year. And we're excited to be back broadcasting the races on Thursdays and Saturdays. And uh, you'll have to arrange to have him come in for an interview in our studio. We'd love to meet him. Yeah, for sure. We'll have to, to do that. He's a good guy and he's excited to join our team. So we'll, we'll definitely arrange for you to meet Doug for sure. So again, May 31st is the opening day. Jonesy playing the concert at the Tiki Bar. And Tanetta, thank you so much for joining us and good luck on the opening day. Thank you so much for having me. Take care.